experiment number two is I took and I created a double a double coil or actually a double emitter so there's two pieces of copper uh, pretty much at the same position the tower is generating energy now this is the phenomenon that happens when we get close to earth now since it there is no earthing to this it's using me as an amplifier so when I touch it as you can see it lights up it illuminates effortlessly so now the closer to the earth the brighter the effect seems to be. Now, of course, if I hold this up, now that we have double, when I get close to the field, it's going to get extremely bright. And I'm feeling a lot of energy coursing through the copper. So there's the continuation. Okay. <laughs> that was a little more energy that I wanted to feel, but as you can see, I didn't want to make any connections to the emitter and just ambiently, because if I get right at the sweet spot, the LED will stay completely continuously lit just like that. So <laughs> that's a little surgy. I get <laughs> that's a little more energy that I'd like to have coursing through me at the moment because I don't have a big enough grip on this copper so but as you can see the only reason when I get to this particular point the copper has an attraction to the field so again we're dealing with some reverse scenarios here when it comes to radiant energy there because it's non-polar non-polarized so the, the field is constantly flipping so that's the reason why we, we can become the earth or the etherical field. So we could be a natural earthing ground, which will cause the illumination. If two people are holding this, then we can hold this light fully illuminated 10 feet away.